Hey guys! Welcome back to Bunga's Custom Bikes. So I got a surprise in the shop today. We have Mrs. Bunga herself. So this is my better half, my other half. She's a helping hand around the shop. She uh, comes in, gets things done with me, holds stuff, helps me tighten stuff. Very good at holding things. Her mechanical skills aren't the greatest, <laughs> but uh, she's definitely a helping hand around the shop when I need it. So today we are going to be putting a rear fender on the Yamaha 1100. So my lovely assistant will be here assisting me with that, uh, holding things while I get it tacked and welded and measured in place. Um, it's not going to be a very informational video. Informational? That sounds weird. That's a word. Informative? Educational? It's not going to be any of that. It's just going to be kind of a fun video, lots of time lapse. You know, I'll jump in every now and then to say what I'm doing. But other than that, let's have some fun. All right, so first thing first, before we get this new fender installed, we got to finish welding what we started. Uh, I never actually went through and finished welded the new rigid rear end. So, got to do that first. I've already cleaned the metal, just got to weld it. Clean metal is happy metal. If you don't clean, you get porosity. If you get porosity, you get bad, bad welds. All right, now that we got all that finished up with the welds, get my ground paint out of the way, and push my welder back. Let's uh, get this rear wheel back on and start measuring for the sissy bar. I got the lovely assistant in to help me get this wheel back on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. All right. Wiggle, wiggle. There it is. And she's in. No more wiggling? No more wiggling, please. Oh. Glad I can help. Don't know what to do without you, sis. Don't leave, because I still need you. Oh, okay. Um, hold this wheel. Like, hold it right there. Right here? No. Like, like, oh, like here? Yeah, but like, kind of like, pull it towards the wall just a little bit. I don't want it to slip out of what I just got back into. is why you need multiple hands. Even four isn't enough. Build motorcycles, they say. It's great, they say. <sighs> Technical difficulties. The size of them nuts. Mrs. Bonga. Okie dokie. Alright. So the reason we want to do this before we get the sissy bar on is we want to index where the wheel is going to be in relation to our fender. So now that we've got the wheel where we want it, we can start getting the sissy bar mounted. So let's work on that next. So for those of you who don't know what a sissy bar is, this is a sissy bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the backrest for like a rigid frame motorcycle. For example, this one's gonna sit right here. Pretty much just like that. These are also important because what they do is they will hold your fender. They're the rear support for the fender. So it's supported at the front of the rear wheels, so the front of the back. And then this is what supports the rear. 
So I get mine from this wonderful website. Again, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just like them. TCBros.com. I get a lot of my motorcycle parts from them. Um, they sell a whole kit. So it comes with the sissy bar itself. I'll cover up their logo so I don't get in trouble for copyright. It comes with the mounting bungs and the little leather patches to put in between. And what's cool is they actually sell these, they come with these indexing tabs. So these are what mount to the motorcycle. And then you weld it to the bottom of the sissy bar, like my hand out of the way, like that. And that's how the sissy bar actually mounts to the motorcycle. So with the help of uh, my assistant here, we're gonna get this mounted up and figure out where we want it. All right, so we got a little mounting tabs on over here. I've got this pair of vice grips right here on the axle holding the wheel in place over to the left. Since this is a shaft drive motorcycle, you know, it's gonna have some slide in and out. Normally the rear brake caliper uh, would take that space up on the axle, but I don't feel like putting all that there. So I've just got some vice grips locking into place and that will hold the wheel center in the frame. So we've got our little mounting tabs in, the little weld on tabs, I know they're hard to see from where you're at, but now basically we're just gonna take our sissy bar you see it's kind of got this bend on it, but that's just design. Um, some people, actually I've actually never seen it pointing forward. It's to be pointed backwards. Um, some places sell it in just a, a straight configuration, just like that. Now the problem is that this right now is too narrow for our setup. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get some muscle on it and we're gonna bend it. So we're gonna take it and yeah, open it up a little bit until we get it to fit into our tabs. So we need to go a little bit more. Yeah. All right, look at that. Right on it. That's a little too far. No, we need a little more. Yeah. All right, and sissy bar. So now the next step is that we will get the, and we'll probably get that tacked into place. Yeah, I think we're gonna tack weld that into place. <laughs> so hold on. All right, so this is our fender. Comes from TC Bros also, they have really good quality stuff. It's heavy duty, it's thick, it's cold rolled, so it's strong. Um, now the only thing, and this isn't negative about them, is it comes in this layer of packing grease and that keeps it from rusting during shipping. Um, you definitely want to clean that off. It's nasty to work with. It's just, it's not, it's not nice. And uh, if you go to weld it, it's liable to catch on fire. So definitely get some good degreaser on it, but be aware that as soon as you take this grease off, because it is raw steel, it will start flash rusting pretty quickly. So get your welds done and then I'd probably throw some kind of, you know, maybe a primer or just another layer of oil on it so it doesn't rust. So we're just gonna go slide that in. And that's about where that's gonna sit. Why she's starting to look like a chopper? Let's, uh, let's change the angle here, let you see. Yeah, that looks pretty slick. Obviously we don't have it mounted yet, but I do like that. It's gonna sit up off the tire a little bit. You know, more like that, but I like that a lot. I think that looks pretty slick. All right, so we got the fender kind of sitting up. Now the way this attaches is this comes with the kit from TC Bros, is this little 
kind of attachment bracket. So it's, you know, it's like quarter inch steel and it's gonna get welded on. And I'm thinking I'm gonna weld it to the swing arm right in there. And then the fender will sit on top of it like that. And then we'll drill holes in that fender. And really I need my assistant to help me hold that up. But we'll drill holes in that fender there and there and then it'll bolt through and that's how that will get mounted and then the sissy bar back here has bungs that will get welded to it and that's how that'll get mounted but i need a seat to figure out where the sissy bar is going to go so I need to figure out what seat we're going to put on this but you know kind of like today uh just a fun video we're not doing too much Alright, so we got our little mounting tab welded or tacked in place. Um, I'm not going to actually fully weld it in until we know exactly where we want this fender to be. Um, it's sitting kind of just, well, it's, it's sitting. It's sitting on a roll of electrical tape to keep it away from the tire. But sitting flat like that, I, I'm liking it. It's looking alright. Um, I can't really do too much with it until the seat gets here. So... I gotta let the customer pick a seat and then based on what he decides for a seat is when we will go ahead and get this actually mounted up, welded to the sissy bar and uh, finish this up. So like I said, today, not a whole lot. You got to meet Mrs. Bunga. You got to see some uh, fun here and there stuff. I'm just like, you know, documenting what I'm doing in the shop. So thanks for tuning in. Keep riding.